In the last video, I showcased Azerite UI and showed you many of its features, as well as my personal setup for it for how to get extra action buttons when the 24 that were allowed to you just weren't enough. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to customize Azerite UI even farther to tweak it into something custom that fits your specific playstyle even more, or if you just want a couple extra utility buttons like I had on mine. To achieve this, you're going to need a couple accompanying add-ons. Obviously, you're going to need Azerite UI. You will also need an add-on called Mask, which can change the skin of certain interface buttons. You're also going to need to download a Mask skin, which you can find on the Azerite UI add-on page. And finally, we're going to need Bartender 4. So this is me logging in to my Warlock. This is with all those add-ons uh, I just told you to download enabled. So this is with Mask, uh, as well as Bartender, and Azerite UI, all currently enabled right now. Um, and this is just what it did to the default, default UI. It turned it into an absolute mess. The first thing you are going to need to do, yours might not look like this, you're going to need to do slash MSQ, and that's going to open the mask. Or of course, you can also go to the add-ons menu, but that's going to open up the mask add-on. You're then going to want to go to Bartender 4 and make sure that the skin is selected as Azerite. That's just with it selected. So yours will, yours will probably look more like this when you load it up. You're going to have to go into Bartender 4 and set uh, the skin to be Azerite. That's, that's what Mask does. So from there, now all your buttons should look like Azerite UI buttons. And of course, you'll also have this UI hanging out over here once you mouse over it. So you're then going to need to configure Bartender 4. So you're again going to open up Slash and then type BT for Bartender. You're then going to, the, the bartender menu is going to pop up. So Azerite UI is by default going to have a couple of your action bars already embedded in it. In my case, for being um, the bottom left action bar on the default UI and then the extra action bar above it, that was bar 1 and bar 6. You're going to want to go ahead and disable those right off the bat. Next, to get this art bar out of here, you're just going to disable the blizzard art bar. Now, Bartender recognizes bar 3 and 4 as being the hot bars that you can put on the right side of your screen from the default interface menu. And it'll recognize bar 5 as the top right extra action bar that you can enable as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and recreate the UI that I showed you in my last video and at the beginning of this video. So the first thing we're going to want to do so that we have our positioning down we're going to want to open up Azerite UI settings. So the thing with Azerite UI is we can't make it always visible. Um, the way around this is to find an NPC near you and target them, and that'll make Azerite UI permanently stay up and open so that you can position things around it. So there we go, targeted a pack mule so that we can always see what our so that we can always see Azerite UI open. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the bars that were on the right side of the screen, the two extra action bars. And we're going to put those down below the Azerite UI default action bars. And Bartender makes this very easy. If you come up here and you uncheck lock, you'll notice everything will light up and you can just pick stuff up and move it around. I'm going to be moving bar 5 up here so it's out of the way. Moving the pet bar over here. And these I'm going to move them a little bit closer so that they're just easier to work with. So I think positioning the pet bar uh, just above your health bar, enough so that, that your, um, your buff slots still have room to appear. In the future, uh, the author of Azerite UI said very soon he's adding functionality for a pet bar, but until that comes up, this is how we're going to be working around that. That's the reason I'm doing this on my Warlock, so I can show you guys this. So we got them moved around in a position we can work with them, so we're going to go ahead and lock them again. So grab either of those bars. In this case, I'm grabbing bar 3. So the first thing we want this to do is since we want it to lay down horizontal and not vertical, we're going to reduce the rows from 12 to 1, and that's going to change the position of it quite a bit. So again, we can unlock it and drag it into the general position that we want it. I'm going to say we're going to want it right there. You can, again, put it wherever you want. I'm just leaving enough room for my tongues add on. So that the UI buttons aren't clipping over each other, we're going to have to extend the padding all the way to 20. This is going to look weird because there are slots right here that I'm not using. Uh, but with this bar highlighted like this, I know exactly where they're at. So we're going to scale them down a little bit so that they're not touching the bottom of the screen. I think 0.7 or 0.75 is a good... Now you can check uh, the visibility when you want them to show up. I like always having these on um, because you'll find if you just put hide in combat, you'll find that the game's been bugging a lot and leaving you in combat when you're not around anything that can attack you. It was doing it really bad on my hunter earlier, so maybe it, it could just be a thing with pet classes, but either way, I wouldn't hide it in combat because these are things, you know, like your Hearthstone you might need or amount that you just can't get to because it's thinking that you're in combat. 
And then if you want to manually position it to make sure that you have uh, the decimals perfect for when you line up the other action bar. So I'm just going to set these to a 142 and just a flat 35 uh, just for convenience's sake. So now we're going to click off and grab onto bar four. We're going to again reduce that to one row. Grab that and drag it down. Scale it to seven like we had. Uh, don't forget to increase the padding because I always do. We're going to grab the micro menu and move that really quick. And then go in the positioning again. So the X offset uh, is going to be different no matter what because it's in a different position. But again, I would just make it something so that was negative 354 or was it 45? It was 45. I just like to leave it without a decimal. That's a personal thing of mine. It doesn't really matter if you want to do that or not. And then the Y offset, uh, the Y offset should be the same as the other bar so that it is in the same spot. So this one was 35. We're going to make this one 35. So now you have those set up down there. So the zone ability bar, uh, again, we're just going to drag and move. I'm going to put it right here as well. The extra action bar is going to go right next to it. Uh, the bag bar. So opening up the bag bar, um, we're just going to make it one bag so that when you click on it, all of your bags open at the same time. And we're going to drag it. I like to drop it right here. Again, this is just showing you how to customize it. You can put it wherever you want, whatever makes you happy. Again, uh, I would like to always have it visible no matter what. If you want to fine tune the positioning, but you don't have to. So now we have the pet bar up. I, I summoned a void walker, so now I actually have a pet enabled. That probably would have helped. So again, the padding, uh, it can be a little bit less than 20. You can set it for about 16 before they actually start touching if you want. Um, I'm going to set it to 20 so that the theme is just consistent throughout the UI. And you can make this whatever size you want. Uh, I personally like to line it up so it's the same length as my health bar. It's just, you know, something that, uh, it's just something I like to see. But again, if you need to swap these abilities all the time and they're obviously kind of a pain in the ass when they're that small of course you can make them bigger um if you want it to instead be a square of abilities you can change the amount of you know you can change the rows if you want it to be like that but then be bigger uh, and obviously raise it up you can have it like that too so again just showing you how to customize it however you want i'm gonna leave it with one row and put it back down above my health bar like i had it and now for bar five. Now this bar on the on my warlock is kind of tricky because on my warrior it was uh, it was actual things that I, I used in combat. Uh, for my warlock, it's more utility. It's the water breathing, the summoning stone, the soul stone, the health pool, and the eye of Kilrog, all that stuff. So I don't think I want this normally where I would put it. Where I would normally put it is I would have it be about right here, and I would limit it to I think six buttons, but. I don't want that constantly visible and I also don't want to hide it in combat so what I'm gonna do is go into general settings and you can just change the amount of buttons that are on it so I'm gonna reduce it to six buttons because I think that's all we're gonna need again we're gonna to have to increase the padding but with six but buttons we can make it three rows so that it sits up here nicely again these are all utility abilities uh, not stuff that we're gonna actually be using I know this might look a little silly because there's not actually abilities in there right now um, it might clip into the chat box a little bit. That's, again, something. How important is that to you? You know, only you know that. Or alternatively, I can actually make it a row of seven so that it doesn't interfere with the chat box at all. So maybe we'll, or maybe we'll do that. Who We'll play with it. We'll, we'll play with it. We'll see what we can get out of it. And so finally, you're going to notice that the micro menu is all kinds of screwed up. Um, because the default Azerite UI, it's supposed to show up in here, and with Bartender messing with it, it's now, they're kind of, think of it like they're arguing, you kind of have to set them straight, in a sense, but, so, um, we're going to turn it to 12 rows, because that's how the Azerite UI is designed, it's meant to be put right in there, so if you unlock it, you're going to have to drag the, you're going to have to play with it, play with the positioning a little bit, um, I find that it can be kind of difficult, because if you mouse off of this cog wheel, this window will disappear. And so to set this micro menu up right, you're going to want to set the scale to 1, the padding to 10, and the rows to 11. The positioning, it is negative 280 on the X offset and 18 on the Y offset. And that'll give you the micro menu looking as it should. And so here is our UI uh, fully fleshed out and basically done. 
Uh, you'll notice that this the garrison call to arms button as well as my damaged armor showing up there. That's that's not movable. That is part of Azerite UI. That's something that uh, Gold Paul was very adamant. Just you know, it's it's his UI. He doesn't want to move it. It's kind of an art of concept. It's not meant to be customized, basically. Um, that'll go away if you either uh, hotkey it to an action bar. So if it's really bothering you, pull up an extra bartender bar, just hide it in the corner, and then make it never visible, and that'll never be there. The armor, on the other hand, uh, I don't know of a way to get rid of that. But obviously, once you repair your gear, it'll go away anyway. So you really shouldn't be running around with broken gear. Uh, again, and in bartender, we have several... We, we, I think we still have four bars that aren't being used. So if you need more than this or you just want to customize your UI to the nines, uh, there are more options available for you. If you're confused or unclear how to use something related to Bartender, there's plenty plenty videos on YouTube uh, on how to do it, so there's not really a need for me to. So yeah, I just I wanted to show off this UI because I love this add-on. I think it's fantastic, and I, the only thing that was lacking for me was a couple utility buttons. So I also wanted to show people how to customize it once I had figured out how to do so. So that's really it. I don't think I missed anything in this video. Um, I might be back with more add-on showcases in the future. Maybe, maybe not. Who really knows? Um, but if you guys like this video, please let me know, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.